one person business, 1K per day for people like us, 50, 60 and over. How do we do it? This is a step-by-step -step process. I'm taking you through step one, through step, I don't know. I'm not sure how many steps it's gonna be because we're gonna keep going. But I know today we are on step number two and I am Ryan, I'm your host, thank you. I've been doing this building businesses online since the late 90s, started with an online strength and conditioning membership site and just kept growing and have been a lot of markets and niches. And that is going to be step number two today, niche or niche or your market or your tribe or your peeps, whatever you want to call it, your, your, per, your customers. It's about figuring out who you are serving, who you're helping, who you're building products and services for. People make the mistake of starting with their idea. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to build. This is what I want to create. And then you go and you build it, you create it, and you spend days, months, years, and then come out and be like, all right, market, here you go. The market's like, huh? Is it, who's this for? There was a, there's a well-known marketer, Dan Kennedy, and he, I think he came up with the phrase, I always try to attribute it correctly, um, there are riches in niches. And when I first started online, my first membership site was for strength and conditioning professionals, just like me, people working with athletes who are athletes, and it was general. It was called originally complete conditioning and sports specific, and it was every kind of strength and conditioning coach, every kind of sport, everything from improving speed to baseball, to football, to soccer, to lacrosse, you name it. And it worked. And in the late 90s, it worked because there wasn't really a lot of information and there was people willing to pay for that. It's a different story today. Right now, there are things broken down. There are strength and conditioning sites just for baseball players. There are some just for pitchers, just for catchers. It's hyper segmented. And that really is where you want to play. You want to niche down until you can be the clear and obvious choice. And I, I do this all the time when I get do a coaching call with someone. They say, Ryan, I have a great idea. I want to do a membership or I want to do a course or I want to do a program for all small business owners. Every small business owner in the world I want to do, help. I said, okay, so you want to help someone who has a small one person accounting firm running out of the house? Yes. What about the person who owns a pizza shop? Yes. What about a pizza person who owns 13 local pizza shops? Yes. But don't they have different needs? One doesn't have to hire anyone. One has multiple units and rent and all that stuff and more like, how are you going to help all them? Well, and then we start getting into it. Well, it's not really for someone who owns multiple pizza places. Well, what about one? Well, it's not really for a retail owner. It's more for like the person you said, the accountant trying to build a private practice. And they said, cause that's really my experience. I said, so forget trying to reach the pizza owners because the minute you say all small businesses, you're, you're playing the all game and it's impossible to reach everybody. But so if there's two sites and one says the ultimate marketing guide for small business owners and one says how to market your one person accounting practice, where are they gonna go? If I'm an accountant, a solo accountant, and I wanna build my practice, I am going to that person who's speaking to me. There's so many ways to niche down your market. You can niche down by industry, like I'm talking about. Um, you can niche down by, by age, by gender. Even right now, what I'm doing is I'm taking the information I've learned and I'm really speaking directly to my fellow 50, 60 and up Gen X, people who get references. I'm gonna, you guys know who Duran Duran is, right? Like it's, we're speaking the same language. <clears throat> Even though my content could be used for people in their 20s or 30s, or even early 40s, but I'm speaking to you. And the, the more you can do this in your marketing, the stronger it's going to resonate with people. Don't worry about quote unquote, leaving money on the table. Oh, but won't I limit my market? I remember I did a coaching call with a guy who was teaching, he had a, a program in software and he is a, he's from, from France and he speaks French. And he said, well, I'm, I'm, I, even though English is my first language, I still want to open up to everyone. He said, there's not enough people in France. I said, well, what's your goal? And we, we talked about the goal and his goal was to get to like around $1,000 a day, 1K per day. 
I said, well, how many people do you need at this price? And we came up, so he needed, he needed about a thousand customers or something. I said, well, how many people speak French? I don't remember what the number is, but it's in the millions. I said, okay, out of the millions, is that like, is that not a large enough market for you? He said, well, yeah, of course it is. I said, okay, so just speak to the French people, do it in French and just own that market because there's no one else in your particular niche, in your particular industry, speaking to people in French. He's like, oh my God, you're, and he had this big breakthrough because we have these big goals. Look, if you want to build a multi-billion dollar unicorn business, then you're going to have to reach the masses. But if you want a niched one person thing where you could be kind of comfortable, this is who I'm marketing, this is who I'm serving, tighten it up. And usually you can go multiple levels deeper. You can go deeper than you could ever imagine. You can say, well, Ryan, I am, I am niche down. I am speaking about health and I'm speaking for health, you know, women in their fifties. But what about a specific thing with their health? What about speaking to someone with autoimmune disorders? What about speaking to people specifically women in their fifties with, with lupus? I mean, now all of a sudden you're talking niche. Again, we're not saying a billion dollar company, right? But if the goal is 1K per day and you have a product priced at $500, you have to average two a day. Is there enough people in your, your TAM, your total addressable market to reach those numbers? And in most cases it's yes, right? Of course you're not gonna go so niched where you're like, I only serve left-handed golfers with a limp who live in New Canaan, Connecticut, and wear 80s headbands while listening to Bon Jovi. Okay, that might be too small, but when you niche down till you become the clear and obvious choice, and it's a market that you're really passionate about, and you love them, and you know them, and you are them, man, that's a home run. The closer you can get to the people, the better because you could speak their line. I can do references. I can say things and you start shaking your head. And I wrote an email yesterday and I talked about big wheels and I showed a picture of kids on big wheels and I got emails, oh my God, like you're speaking to me. Yes, yes I am, I am speaking to you and you wanna to speak to your market. For, so forget the big idea, forget all that stuff and we're gonna go on in more steps and start breaking down what do we say and how do we say it? And then what is the idea and what's the brand and what's the price? We're gonna to get to all that. But for now, just think about who. Who it is you wanna serve. If you want more help with this, just write 1K below in the comments. I'm working on a free report with this. But don't overthink it now. We got step, let, the first step was all about the simplicity of the business. Now we're just thinking about who. Who it is you want to serve. And here's a little, uh, I would use this, I would do this exercise and it kind of broke it down. It, it, it makes you think about it. Let's say you're doing an event. Let's say you're doing a workshop and you have 200 people coming to see you. They're coming to see you speak about this specific topic. And great, right? And I've, I've run big events. I've run events for five, 600 people, so I get it. And now it's a lunch break, okay? It's a lunch break, cool. Now. Of course, you might say, well, I'm tired, I want a break in the back. But let's say you have to go in the audience and have lunch with them. They're all having lunch. Is this an audience you want to actually go sit with? Or are you like, oh my God, I wanna have nothing to do with them. You'd be shocked how many people would build a market and build a business around a niche and they don't want to talk to them. And they're just in the market because there's quote unquote money there. But if you truly are like, there's no way I wanna sit and talk with, have lunch with them, then you might be in the wrong market. I know for me, I want to be in the, I want to go have lunch with you. I want to talk about business, but also the other cool stuff that we can relate to. And, and the fact that we have maybe kids the same age and they're getting older, like all this stuff. So find that market. Now, again, not worried about the business thing. Now we're going to cover that in an upcoming step, but now just why not build a business around something you love and people you want to help and serve? Why not? Who says you can't? It's your freaking business. You could get you can get as niched as you want. There are no rules. Own that niche. Be the first there. Create a category. So I'm ho I hope you're enjoying this. We are just getting. So we're only on step two. We are going one person business, one k per day, fifty up, 
watch the next video. This series is going to keep going and like and subscribe because we are just getting warmed up, my friend. Yeah, I'll see you on the next video.